Hey guys, what's up? I just got done fasting for 86 hours. I feel like a superhero. I feel incredible. And I want to tell you how I did it. I love sharing this kind of stuff with you. So when I left the event on Saturday night, I started fasting. And here's a picture of me Saturday night uh, when I left. I just got done this morning. Uh, so Saturday to Wednesday. And here are the pictures of me this morning. So I don't know if you've seen this online, but it's called the seven day water fast. And this, uh, doctors have done studies on this and this thing is legit. It gives you an over 70% chance of not getting cancer, Alzheimer's and other nasty diseases. So I decided I was going to do this. When I saw this video on Dana's Instagram, it really intrigued me and it intrigued a lot of people online as well. People saying, wow, the results are crazy. Is it steroids? What's happening here? Was he doing something extra on the side? I wanted to find out for myself first and foremost. And this seems like it's something productive because after all, doctors have done studies on this. And I trust Dana's doctors because he has enough money to have good doctors around him. So I said, hey, let's do this 86 hour fast. Is it going to be hard? Yes, I already know it is because the most I ever fasted before was probably a day's worth and I eat dinner at the night time. But doing a full day was going to be hard alone. So doing three and a half days, Oh my God, I knew it was going to be insane, but I want to do the challenge. So please, if you're enjoying this video so far, I know it's only started, but if you are recognizing the courage that I am putting myself through right now, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I'd much appreciate it, but yeah, let's get to it. So this was me on day one. I weighed in at 170.2 pounds. I started my fast at midnight on November the 17th because my last meal was on November the 16th, 11.30 p.m., somewhere around there. So I said, let's just round up. And that meant my fast was going to end on Monday, November the 20th at 2 p.m. So the first 24 hours, all you drink is water, but you can put electrolytes in your water. Um, this is what I use. I'm sure you could use any electrolytes you want, but make sure that there's zero, 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 zero sugar, zero carbs, zero calories. This is all zero, and this stuff tastes really good. Then the next day, this is the cleanest broth that you can buy. This thing only has, this thing only has 45 calories, less than one gram of carbs, and uh, it has like 13 grams of protein. So all it really has is protein and 45 calories. You do this twice a day for the next two days. You drink all your water with electrolytes, but you can do the broth twice a day, bone broth, the bone broth twice a day uh, for the next two days. So I did what Dana asked and began drinking my water with electrolytes. I picked this flavor specifically because I tried it before. It's called Rainbow Twist, something like that. And I really enjoyed it. So I said, you know, might as well pick something that I enjoy for this because I'm going to be drinking a lot of it. So yeah, I'm happy that I went with this flavor. Now, this is where I definitely messed up. I drank bone broth within the first 24 hours when Dana specifically said, don't drink it until after 24 hours so i messed up the fast right away but i figured this out basically after my second bowl later that night and by that point i said am i really going to start again is drinking bone broth within the first 24 hours going to mess this up i didn't think so so i said all right let's just continue on it's like so I decided I was going to work out for the duration of this fast, but I knew I wasn't going to be pushing myself 100%, more of like a, a 30% type of push. But I didn't want to go too hard because I knew my energy was going to be depleted very quickly without food. So. I just took it lightly. Usually I work out in the gym in my building, but uh, for this video, I decided not to because one, I didn't want to film myself in a public gym. I think that's weird. 
<laughs> no offense to people who do it, but I, I don't I don't really like that. And uh, two, like I said, I wasn't really trying to push myself too hard and I have dumbbells in my home. I have 30 pounds and 40 pounds and that's just enough to get a good workout and just do more reps if needed. But I was completely fine by using these weights for the next few days. So that's why I didn't go to the gym that I usually go to. But yeah, this workout right here it wasn't too difficult but uh, i definitely felt like i wasn't going as fast as usual i could feel that i wasn't replenished with food and that kind of sucked but it was okay overall i got it done and i also usually do cardio after my weight workout my strength workout i do a 12 incline, three speed, and 30 minutes. But I do that usually after every strength workout. I decided I'm not gonna do it for these workouts because already the strength workout was too much. So adding cardio on top of that, I thought it was gonna be overkill. It was just gonna not be good. So I decided to skip out on cardio for these next few days. It's 5.40 right now and I gotta be for real, I'm getting hungry. And this is usually the time I usually, <laughs> I can't even speak, man. This is usually the time I eat after working out or I don't know, man. I don't even have thoughts. Oh my God. This is only like day one, man. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm definitely feeling it. We'll see how this goes. Ah! This is so bad, man. What the f what kind of doctor said this was okay? Holy sh**. Man. Oh my god. This is so brutal. I didn't think it was going to be this hard. I knew it was going to be hard, but not like so hard this quickly. So after my workout, I continued my night by drinking water and of course drinking my bone broth. The bone broth was so not tasty because it was the low sodium type and yeah it was not fun but the warmth of it was very nourishing which i did enjoy so yeah there, there was that by this point man i was going crazy as you can see so <laughs> it was gonna be a hard next couple of days this is only day one it's 7 10 in the morning day two Oh, I feel the rumblings in my stomach for sure. And I definitely like feel less floated, which it's, it's okay. I like that. But um, yeah, we'll see how this day goes. I feel like it's going to be a hard one. So on day two, I weighed myself in the morning. I weighed 169 pounds. So not too much of a weight difference between day one and day two, which understandably so. And yeah, I just continued on with my day with my waters and my bone broth. I'm already considering what I want to eat on Monday. I'm so hungry, man. The obvious choice is to go for something really unhealthy, like a full pizza or something like that. But I feel like it would be the smarter thing to eat something clean right after a long fast because I need the nutrients. I feel like the nutrients is out of my body right now and I, I want to replenish that. So I don't feel like a pizza would satisfy that nutrient replenishment. It's currently 12.53 p.m. on day two and I gotta be for real, I'm feeling it hard right now, man. I really want food so bad. Um, I'm getting headaches now, which isn't uh, the greatest thing to have. And, you know, I just, I, I find myself watching a lot of food videos, whether that's someone meal prepping food or cooking food or whatever, man. If it's a food related video, I find myself watching it intently my head is hurting now that's how you know that we're in this right now so it's gonna be hard man i, I already know tomorrow is gonna be even harder like tonight is gonna be really hard i don't even know how i'm gonna sleep man funny enough i did sleep pretty well last night so that was good but i don't know man now i feel like it's gonna it's gonna be a lot so let me eat this bone broth Oh my god. 
it's so funny, man, because day one, I'm like, bro, this is so not seasoned well. It's not salty. It tastes so bland. But now, I taste more flavor. I'm still considering if I should go to the gym. Today's my rest day. So on rest days, I make an active rest and I like to go on the treadmill. There's a part of me that's saying, don't do this, man, <laughs> because I feel like that's really going to be dangerous if I do that. So I'm thinking of skipping out on this cardio and then just getting back to strength training tomorrow. But yeah, I feel like cardio is just going to be too intense, which is, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm still thinking about it. Maybe I will do it. I'm 37 hours in on this fast, which is, I never thought I could do something like this in my life, but that's why I love challenges, man. When you put your mind into something you want to do, you could realize like how you could exceed so many limitations that you put on yourself mentally in your life. But when you actually do it, you're like, oh shit, I could actually do this, which is, I think that's a cool thing I've been realizing through this fast it's like damn i could actually do this i didn't think it was possible so by nighttime i was on my second bowl of bone broth watching some ufc i took a nap in the afternoon like a two hour one because i was extremely tired so i needed that and that meant no active cardio day for today and honestly i think it was for the best because if i did cardio on this day i it would have really hurt me in my opinion so i think it was a good idea to just skip out on that just relax and just enjoy my bone broth and electrolytes you know because yeah we we gotta we gotta conserve as much energy as possible so i woke up this morning weighed myself on 167. you know i'm definitely feeling it quite a bit like waking up this morning I was dreaming of eating food, honestly. Um, it's getting very hard at this point. To think that people do it for seven days is absolutely insane. This three and a half days is already hard. I'm on day three. I don't really have much energy, I'll be honest. I'm gonna go light on these weights or reps. Um, I can't be overexerting myself on this because I know it's just gonna kill me. And um, yeah. Day three, I feel like, like I said, it's going to be a really hard day. But day four, oh my god, I can't wait just for 2 p.m. to to strike, man. The minute 2 p.m. hits, I'm eating food. Like, I'm going to have food prepared, so then 2 p.m. hits, I eat that food, man. I just, I need it so badly, so uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Yeah, by this point, man, I was so tired. This workout was actually quite hard with the light weights that I had. Usually this is kind of like an easy workout for me, but this one was definitely much harder compared to before. And it was uh, a solid one. I, I'm happy I did it. I, I really wanted to stick to working out through these past few days, even though I was fasting because I felt like it was gonna, I don't know, give me good results or give me better results. I don't think it did in the end, but I, I like keeping up with working out. I don't like missing days, especially if I miss more than two days in a row. I already missed my active recovery day. I follow all my workouts through an app called FitBod. I see a lot of people follow it too as well. And I think it, it's great to structure workouts and that's what I do for everything. I have a day for chest and back, a day for shoulders and arms, a day just for legs. And then I just do active recovery on my rest day. At this point, man, I was fine with these workouts alone. And as you could see, by the time I was done my workout, I was going crazy once again. It was just, it was a disaster, bro. I also decided that I was gonna go out and get my groceries for the food that I was gonna eat the next day. I know I could have done this the next day, but at this point, man, I just wanted to be around food because it felt like forever since I was close in proximity to food, so I just wanted it around. I just wanted to be close to it. I even gave some of my food items a couple of sniffs because, man, it, it was hard. It's been hard not being able to have food around and just eat it at your leisure. It, you really take it for granted. It's crazy how 
you don't think about how important food is until you don't have it for almost three days at this point in this video but yeah i had to go grocery shopping and i'm kind of happy i did because it made prep easier the next day so you know it was overall a good thing was i tempted maybe i was a little bit but it wasn't enough where i was going to cave in i knew i was gonna stay strong throughout the 86 hours right now i'm at a point where it's it's hard to be it's hard to walk around it's hard to think um i have heart palpitations which i know doesn't sound good but this is like a side effect that happens when you're fasting and uh, overall yeah my energy is very depleted um tomorrow i'm not going to be going to the gym early in the morning i'm going to wait until i finally eat food and then i'll go to the gym after but um yeah man overall my body is definitely feeling it now i'm feeling uh weak you know so i'm so happy that this is finally done tomorrow 2 p.m tomorrow man it, the the time can't come sooner enough for real i really want to eat so badly like this entire experience has made me realize how much i love food and not having it for three and a half days straight oh my god man i'm just i'm never gonna take food for granted again so i'm i'm looking forward to eating all of this man and uh yeah that's that's all i have to say for now Last night's sleep, man, was the hardest sleep. I kept waking up. I woke up in the middle of the night because I was so hungry, man. I was so friggin' hungry. Seven more hours, man. Or eight or six more hours. One of those. But these six hours can't pass sooner enough, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm watching the clock basically at this point. I can't drink any more bone broth. It's like disgusting to me. Even the water is like getting disgusting to me, man. Maybe I should have like had different flavors to make it a little bit more fun. But this was, uh, oh my God, bro. This was so hard, man. Like I can't wait to for it to be done. I can't wait to eat food, man. This was so brutal. What the hell was this? Sh <laughs> so on day four, I weighed in on 167 pounds. So I decided, okay, might as well uh, check what I look like now and show a side by side comparison. So here it is. Right is what I look like at the end of the fast. The left is obviously the beginning. Honestly, not very too drastic in the change. I see some changes, not the same as Dana White by any means for sure, but I could definitely see that I have lost some mass, not in a healthy way at all. As you can see, I can't even flex or smile at this point because I'm just so hungry. And for the remainder of the day, I was just awaiting for 2 p.m. to come. I was so weak at this point. Headache was at an all-time high. Heart palpitations coming in hard. And overall, my body was just so weak. So in order to kill the time and fill goodness with my heart, I went back to the food and sniffed it. And as you could see, I was very happy with it. So I made the viral Italian sandwich from TikTok, and I know it's not an Italian thing, but honestly, I saw it during my hunger, and I thought, I want that, so I decided to make it, and look how good it turned out. Honestly, oh my god. Just looking at this beauty, it, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful, man, but the sad part was that I couldn't eat it right away, because it wasn't time for me to break my fast so I was just in torture at this point oh my god let me get a, a sip of <laughs> let me get a sip of this protein shake that I made let's see I feel like I'm really lacking protein, which is bad, so. Bro, that's so good, man. Oh, it's not even the sweetest orange, but I love it. All right, let's get into this. Oh, yes, finally food. 
I missed you. This is so good, man. The rest of this was just me having a food gasm. I really wasn't saying much because I was really enjoying the food. Every flavor that I tasted, I was really paying attention to it and just giving it thanks. I was so grateful to it. And I think that's what this entire fast did the most for me. It really made me appreciate food. So that's what you're seeing here. I was appreciating this sandwich. It wasn't even the greatest of sandwiches, to be honest. I wouldn't recommend doing this viral Italian sandwich, but hey, the ice cream was pretty good with the rice cakes. And then my protein shake was also nice. The clementine, like, oh man, this was one of the greatest meals I've ever had, which is crazy to say. But when you put yourself in a situation where you don't have much food like I did, any food that you come into contact with afterwards, when you finally do get to eat, it's just a friggin' incredible. So my final thoughts, would I recommend this 86 hour fast? Personally, I wouldn't. I get that Dana was saying that it reduces the risk of some diseases such as cancer and Alzheimer's. I guess I'm good on that part, but I don't know what Dana was talking about in regards to feeling good afterwards, because after I had that meal, I felt so bad, man. I felt like my system just shut down and I had to go to bed and just like rest for a bit because it was a lot for me. And another thing I want to talk about is don't do this if you're trying to lose weight, especially if it's a short period of time and it's like, shoot, man, I have this wedding that I need to go to. I need to lose weight in order to fit into this suit. Don't do it, man. You should have done this months ago. Do it the right way, which is eating healthy, exercising and gradually losing the weight, because not only is that healthier, but it gives you better results. In my opinion, I look at the results I got from this 86 hour fast and I didn't really like it even though i did drop weight it wasn't a healthy weight loss and what i mean by that is when you compare to someone losing weight gradually and doing it the right way of eating healthy and exercising that is a way where you get someone who not only looks like they lost mass obviously but they have the strength it looks like they have the energy i didn't have any of that once i was done this i was weak i was tired and my body, it didn't look strong. That I think that's the biggest thing that I didn't really like about it. If you're trying to lose weight this way and you're happy with those results, I guess that's fine for you. But personally, I like looking strong. That's my favorite thing. So don't do this if you're trying to lose weight. But I will say this. What I did love about this 86 hour fast is the test, the challenge, because it really taught me what my body can go through that I never thought it could ever go through. I was someone who never thought I'd be able to fast more than a day. And I did it for three and a half days. And even though, like I said, I don't believe it's a great thing. I like how I was able to do it. And it really showed me that if you put your mind into something, you could really do a lot of things because you yourself set your limits. So once I completed this, I feel like it really opened a whole new world in regards to what I can do in this world. And I think that's, the greatest thing that I can take from this. Another thing I could be grateful for is food, man. I love food so much more because of this experience. It made me realize that not only is food very important, but food is just such a great thing for our life. And without it, it really sucks. This really made me appreciate food so much more and I'm grateful for it. It really makes me sympathize more with people in situations who are not getting much food. Every time I eat now, I'm very grateful for the food I'm given. And I think that's a beautiful thing in itself. Now, will I do this 86 hour fast again? I wouldn't do 86 hours, but I would probably cut it down to maybe 36 to 40 hours, which means a day and a half or a little bit more than a day and a half. And I think that's perfectly fine, man, because more than two days is a lot and i guess that it's good for the benefits but aside from that if you're trying to lose weight from it definitely not man don't do it if you want to feel good i think 
you won't feel good after two days. But that's my personal opinion. Personally, I think I would feel good if I ended it at the 36th to 40th hour. But everyone is different. I'm not saying my experience is going to be like your experience or like Dana's experience. Dana loved this experience and is so happy to share it with all of you. Me personally, I wasn't a fan of it, but that's okay. Maybe it's not for me. Maybe it's not for the other person, but maybe it's for another person. I say you should try it if you really want to, because I feel like you'll learn a lot of things about yourself. And I'm grateful I did it because, like I said, I learned a lot about myself and the appreciation of food and how much I could push myself when it comes to challenges. So that's me, Keon, doing the 86 hour fast. Let me know if you'll do it in the comments down below. You think it's going to be something easy. You think it's going to be something that's very hard. Let me know. Also, Give me a like for my courage, man. I think I deserve it for this one, especially. So like this video for courage, even comment the courageousness that you've seen today as well. And please subscribe to this channel. I'd be very grateful for it, but that's all out for now. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.